What is going on, crypto fam? This is your boy Jay from How to Crypto coming back with another video. And you know, it pains me to do this video just because you know a lot of people lost more money. And so, as you guys can see by the thumbnail and the title, Lupix has decided to exit scam. You know, another lending platform, another exit scam. And this really sucks, guys. Um, I do empathize whoever was in Lupex and whoever had high hopes. You know, I I'm sorry, you know, that, that this is happening and it, it sucks, you know. And I know a lot of you might have joined before the whole Daver debacle. Maybe, um, I don't know if it was available before the BitConnect debacle. But, you know, I, I feel for you guys and I'm sorry. So uh, I was given the word by... Um, one of my fellow members in a telegram group that I was that I am in. And so I had decided to go over to loopx.com, uh, loopx.io, and it says Safari can't find the server. I also tried this in another web browser. Same thing, the site can't be reached. This actually happened to me, guys, with a ICO that I was in called Public Coin, uh, where they basically just um, took everybody's money during the ICO stage and they ran. So um, I do know that Lupex was, you know, giving out uh, like these special interest rates the last couple of days, maybe to entice people to sign up, you know, to get more money just before the exit scam. It sounds a lot like what Daver did with the a million dollar lending uh, lottery. It sounds familiar. You know, they just wanted people to join so they can go ahead and run away with the money. If we also go to their official Twitter, we can't, you know, find anything. This is their this is their Twitter account. It says the page doesn't exist. Um, I've tried um, you know multiple browsers and m like multiple tweets. I can't find anything. And again, guys, I do empathize with you guys, and I'm sorry you know that that this has to happen. But we have to start taking accountability for these things. You know, um, I know a lot of people are gonna blame you know whoever is behind Lupex and you know whoever is behind Daver. Um, and big connect, but we made a conscious decision and we knew the associated risks that came with investing in things like this. Sorry, guys. Um, so, yes, they are partly to blame, obviously, because they, you know, they created something and gave us hopes and then ran with our money. But we also have to see this like, hey, man, as soon as we put this money in, we have to kiss it goodbye. It, it, you know what I'm saying? Um, don't hope on it. Don't wait on it and, you know, don't bet big on it because you just never know where your money's going. I know we give this money in hopes, you know, that the, these companies are going to do right by us. But have, as we've seen, you know, the last two times, people don't care. People don't care about me. People don't care about you. They just care about getting this money. And it, it's sad to say that we live in a world where, you know, fake companies just, you know, come and steal our money, you know, and we put all our faith, all our hope, and then we defend them online. I know I'm going to get some hate. You know, I'm getting hate on my previous video about Zook, who might do the same thing that Lupex just did. You know, we don't know when they're going to close, but they're going to close. You know, it, it, it sucks to say that, but these platforms are unsustainable and they are not, you know, here for the long run. Man, again, guys, um, uh, it, it, you know, it, it sucks. And I hope that you guys didn't put more than you can afford to lose. You know, and I hope you guys, you know, learn from this experience like I did with Daver. And just not trust these things anymore. Put your guys' coins, um, uh, money in more tangible things. Go maybe into the stock market, go into real estate. Research some really good altcoins. All of which, though, you know, just could crash you know or you could lose money in but you know if if something is a little bit more transparent and i know uh lupex was very transparent you know with their community so uh, the transparency part doesn't really matter at sometimes because even businesses you know open up uh aka you know jordan belfort who would just pump businesses and um stocks and leave um but there there's a, a something a bit safer you know uh put your money and it's something a bit safer than ICOs and then lending platforms, guys. You know, that way we don't lose any money. And this just really gets me mad, you know. 
it gets me really mad because they steal from us twice. You know, they steal our money and then they steal our hopes and our dreams. Because, you know, like I said in my previous video, guys, like, I know people were looking forward to buying their first home, looking forward to buy a new car or their first car, maybe looking to put their children through college with this type of money, maybe, you know, in hopes of being financially free like me, maybe in hopes of making their family financially free, and then they just leave. You know, it's unfortunate that these things happen, guys, but this is a cruel world that we live in, and these are cruel people who do this to a lot of good people, a lot of hardworking people, a lot of people, you know, who put their life savings, a lot of people who sold their cars, you know, who got a second mortgage on their home, who got loans, who put it on credit cards, and won't be able to pay this back, guys. It, it really sucks, and I hope, you know, all you guys well and your future ventures and i hope you guys recoup this loss i'm sorry guys um we just have to learn from this i know it's an expensive lesson but let's learn from this and let's not trust these things again if you guys do want to go ahead and speak to me you know if this is a little bit too stressful for you to handle and you just need someone to talk to go ahead and reach me on my uh, telegram i will be you know in there constantly throughout the day that's all I have. So if this video does bring any value to you and your crypto journey, go ahead and please give me a thumbs up. Please blast this all over your social media so we can spread the positivity, guys. Because we got to keep our spirits up, especially in times like this. To the haters, you know, please don't kick people while they're down, all right? You know, they we're going through a lot and we don't need more people, you know, just bringing negativity in our life. Again, guys, don't forget to subscribe so you guys can see my future content. Until then, guys, I'm out.